got your goggles. We need to go with water now. We do the earth. Uh, we can do water now. So we put a betrayal. And the um. A knight of uh, knight of swords. Somebody rushing and doing something quick. Somebody going within, could be doing with a Virgo uh, or a group of like-minded individuals, maybe lead, led by a Virgo or maybe they're going within this group. To unlock uh, inner truths possible. Spirit, would you like me into this soul cycle of uh, water signs? Um, Pisces, um, Pisces, um, Pisces is the last one actually. I can't have, what's wrong with me today? Uh, Scorpio, Dr. Death, and um, Cancer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be uh, something to do with an emperor. Somebody who uh, can body all four kings in the deck. And a group of individuals uh, who uh, want to, who are in conflict at the moment, I'm taking it. Maybe the emperor, they're in conflict with the emperor, or they don't have to be. They could be in conflict with a emperor, or maybe their leader. Uh, anyway, there's uh, some somebody. There's some kind of conflict going on between the emperor and somebody else. Or water signs. Uh, the underlying energy of this whole read is uh, conflict, competition, uh, duality, like uh, whacking the shit out of each other in the field with sticks. Let's call it because it's the picture that comes to mind when I think of it. Because it's the uh, Rider Reed deck card. So, uh, we have in the uh, heart of the situation there, Holy Spirit, for our water signs. Oh, so pop out. This is uh, Queen of um, Cups. Uh, so, we're on the right track. It's the heart of the situation, Queen of Cups. Somebody who uh, wears their heart on their sleeve when they're upright like this. Somebody who cares, actually cares about other people's feelings. This is not just pretending to manipulate them. That would be this way. Uh, the challenge. What's the challenge for our water signs? Oh, okay. Victory. <laughs> that came up quick. Victory. So. Hmm. Victory, but uh, not everybody's happy about that. victory. Because, um, yeah, look at this guy here who's not happy about the victory. They're supposed to be a team, I'm taking it, because they're all... Maybe they were having a competition, but yeah, this guy's not happy about the victory. <laughs> it reminds me of, uh, what's that, uh, Nacho Libre there, when, like, Ramses is not dancing at the party! Like that, like something like, and shit like that. So, uh, the underlying, uh... Or subconsciously, what you're thinking of, their water signs. Is protection. Maybe thinking about your protection or thinking about somebody else's protection. Or uh, high standing. Uh, I'm thinking divine protection is what this is. Maybe somebody can't be touched or, or uh, thinks they can't be touched. And... Anybody, let me put it this way, anybody can be touched. <laughs> so no, 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 uh, like, uh, except for maybe the most high, but besides him, anybody can be touched. And he, he likes proving that to people when they, they got that frame of mind that they can't be touched. Uh, what do we got in the, um, 
Unless they're, he's, he's protecting them. Yeah. Okay, let me get out of, uh, cease this mode to get into, uh, we see that. Okay. Remember, bot under, bot the underlying energy of this whole read is, um, some kind of conflict. Somebody's maybe worried about that they're not protected in this conflict, or they're like, maybe, they can go either way, like, they, or they, um, or thinking their their egos has gotten so big that they think they can't be touched. Uh, the um, that's another thing he likes uh, proving wrong too. Uh, the initiate of pentacles. Okay, this is a queen of pentacles. So we got two queens out. We got queen of uh, water, which is you guys, and we got a queen of pentacles. Somebody who's a practical thinker in the past. Somebody thinking practically, enjoys the great outdoors, um, enjoying the fruits of their labors. Um, and is uh, well versed in matters when it comes to uh, the material world. Pentacles. This is uh, Capricorn energy, I believe. So, mm, yeah, material. She's a material girl living in the material world. Presently, for our water signs, Holy Spirit, what do we got presently from? Oh, okay. so, two of Pentacles. Okay, so presently. Uh, while this conflict's going on, because I'm taking it, if it hasn't, it's about to. Um, I don't know, that's the heart of the situation, so it is going on. Is it, or no, the heart, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm thinking pre-shuffle. The heart of the situation is the, the Queen of Cups, which is the initiative cup, cups in this one. This is the Pagan deck, by the way. Uh, so, presently in the current, present moment, there's somebody's trying to uh, juggle... Like, keep everything balanced. Maybe while this, uh, well, the challenge is victory. Maybe obtaining victory or, um, not letting it go to your head, possibly. Uh, in the past, we had, uh, the, um, Queen of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy, and we all know who represents Capricorn, and then he definitely let shit go to his head, so that's the reason why he's down here. So, uh, what do we got in the future? We all do from time to time, right? so I'm not picking on you, Big Red. So. Uh, notice, uh, novice of swords. So this is a page of swords. This is um, a spy. Or this is an espionage card, spy card. Um, somebody uh, watching something. They're watching something very closely. Can can be like uh, law enforcement. Doesn't have to be if it is. It's like lower level, like street cop type shit, or even like lower, like. like uh, a roach or a rat or like, a, like a, what do they call them? What are they? The nice word just call them is uh, uh, informant. Um, and we got another page. So the future holds two pages, is what uh, Spirit's saying. And a novice of pentacles, which is the page of pentacles, is somebody learning something. So the reason why this person's watching something most likely is because they're a student, or there's two students. And one's maybe watching another student, or making any mismatch in, those in the future. We'll clarify. Mm, the way you're influencing this water signs? Oh yeah, the underlying energy is conflict, that's why I think. The way you're influencing it is uh, ooh, heartbreak. Okay. So maybe you're heartbroken about this conflict going on presently. Or, um, yeah, and you're trying to keep your shit together. Whoever's read this is, I'm thinking, uh, trying to keep their shit together with the two of pentacles, trying to keep all the balls in the air without them flying all over the place while wow, in heartbreak, which can be very tough. Uh, Two and three add up to five. So this could be something to do with religious organization. It doesn't have to. Uh, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears is they're fearing judgment. And they're hoping for that things run smoothly with temperance. And we got judgment here. So we got scorpionic energy. And we've got uh, um, Sagittarius here with temperance. So this could be a spirit team. Hopes and fears. I'm thinking that this this fear is legit. If 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 they, these two are right beside each other, because this could pertain to your spirit team, and this is judgment. 
Your spirit tea would definitely, if you were, your ears were open, try and warn you about something like this. If you were in danger of this, or even warn you, like, like, take heat, eat, like, put, maybe stay in the house today, because, uh, uh, I don't know if you've ever lived on a, on a reservation, on a, on a Native American reservation, but that they have a problem with dogs sometimes, where there's too many of them, and there's one day of the year where they, like, uh, they, everybody who has dogs keeps their dog inside that day because if they don't, they get shot. Because, like I say, they, they get too many and they get starved, and uh, it's really sad actually. And then eventually, they te they pack up and they try they take down small game, and it could be your kid going to school, right? So it's something that has to be done. Uh, hopes and fears. Okay. Um, the lead. Uh, the lens you're looking through. So I'm thinking your hopes and fears might be legitimate fear. Okay, this come out blocked on the fence. The lens you're looking through is your the tower is being blocked right now. And I know everybody says the tower can't be blocked. I'm I'm believe that too. Like they can be postponed, but they can they it's towers are always gonna come down because they're not built on the cornerstone of truth. So they're going to be taken down. Because anything doesn't stand on the truth, doesn't stand the test of time, and it will be taken down. So, sooner or later. So that's the lens you're looking for. So the lens could be you're trying to block this tower, or um, you know that this tower is being blocked, and it's just a matter of time for it comes down. Uh, the, in the environment, the environment, we got another two here, two of cups. This is a union, some kind of union, a uh, couple possibly. Mm, see in this mirror how she's got like a different face? It's like she's uh, got two, unless that actually is another person on the other side, but I always, I think it's a mirror. This is the way they're holding her. I think this is like, uh, she's got secrets and she's got a double life, this person, in this deck. But normally it can be a union. It doesn't have to be love, love union. It can be, um, this could be a same sex union actually because, like, you see how both of them have great legs, by the way. Both of these chicks have, like, um, uh, yeah, they're chicks, right? So I'm just saying that because I've never seen that in any other decks, possibly. Or maybe this is the way she sees herself, too. Like, maybe, like, she, she's. I don't know, I think she, she is a double, she's definitely living a double life, you know, I think about the rest of the day. Uh, okay, outcome. Oh, shit, that's a lot spirit, okay. The outcome is, well, this could be a community or a group of, a group like, um, say, uh, and it can be a wedding, it can be, could be the wedding of whoever this couple is in the environment right now. Um, they look pretty happy, actually. White and dark, yin and yang, balancing each other out. Because, uh, see, one's dark, the one's light. I just noticed that, too. Uh, got the three cups here, which is celebrating. So they, there's, there's a lot of celebrating going on in the, in the um, oak. Maybe celebrating walking away from what no longer serves you. With the eight of cups here, or somebody is, maybe somebody else... With the three cups here, I'm thinking this could be a, um, what do you call those, a throuple, where it's like maybe three people, and maybe one's getting pushed out or something like that. And that could be where this heartbreak comes from. The, the person, the person's read could be the one being pushed out, I think. And uh, there could be a, a businessman or a king of pentacles involved, somebody who's a pentacle suave, not rico suave like me. And, uh, hmm. Yeah, and Earth sign doesn't have to be there. And uh, we thought we've also got there's another Earth thing here. This is the Ace of uh, Pentacles, which is um, like an opportunity. Maybe this person's bringing an opportunity. Um, these guys, though, they always remind me to like just make sure you keep track of where your keys are, your uh, things that you need. Because when these guys are around, things t tend to go missing. They, they always get show up again, but they they just I don't know. Just call me crazy. Uh, uh, four, three, okay, eight, and seven is um, 
15, 16, 17. So faith, hope, and healing. This adds up that the outcome actually adds up to faith, hope, and healing. So faith, hope, and healing. So I'm thinking, and I'm thinking to read is for the person in this dropple or whatever that's being pushed out of the. See, there's three swords in the heart there, and uh, yeah, that's this is the the way that the person who's who's read it is the querent's uh, influencing it. So influencing some heartbreak. Uh, okay, well, let me have some facts a lot of this. Remember, at the bottom of the deck we got conflict, so this is probably creating conflict. Definitely for this person it is. And that's usually the way those things end. Unless everybody's, you know, knows what's going on. Uh, uh, what we got here? Okay, this initiate first let's see, let's shuffle these up. Holy Spirit, look me back. We did the the um water science here. We got a passionate new beginning. And uh, with a group of like-minded individuals. Yeah, this could be a group. It does not be a religious group. It could be the curling club. <laughs> uh, there's the emperor again. There's the emperor. He was in the pre-shuffle. Um, and victory. So an emperor could be getting victory. Could be an Aries. Spirit link into this the water signs uh mm. I just did it. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Uh, emperor and illusions. So an emperor can be in illusions, or an emperor can be creating illusions. Or options. Sometimes options can be illusions, right? Okay, what's this uh, Queen of Cups doing in the heart of this situation? Let's hmm, Page of Cups. Okay, so they're bringing. They're um, in their emotions, they're madly in love, maybe like puppy love, like high school shit, or uh, it could just be daydreaming, uh, which is a good way to manifest, uh, mm, like, uh, like, yeah, somebody maybe young and in love, or uh, it could be a, small, a younger one or something, too. but she's showing up as a queen in the, in the heart of the situation. So, the younger water signs clarifying the Queen of Cups. Okay. Both upright. Challenge is victory. Tell us about this Holy Spirit. I just wanted to come up block, so I'm going to take it. Uh, I'm going to grab my one block. I just wanted to come up with this. Yeah. Is victory could be blocked because um, this one come out right on the fence. Um, because of pent because of pentacles or like uh, insufficient amount of uh, pentacles maybe it's this not a, this victory needs to be funded the six and four add up to a completion though and then this is eleven justice with, with this on top but remember this is blocked so there could be a king of pentacles or a knight of pentacles blocking this victory and somehow. Yeah, this this group, whatever they are, they're in five pentacles. So maybe they're learning a spiritual lesson, and it's requiring that they lose all their pentacles, maybe because maybe their heads were getting too big with them. Maybe there's many reasons why that can happen. Uh, seven of Wands in the um, Seven of Wands is protection. Uh, subconsciously, somebody's thinking about protection. In this conflict, maybe they're thinking that they're protected in this team, but uh, like I said, they can't be touched. Uh, the Empress, okay. Protection could be, this Empress could be, this um, Queen of uh, Cups could be an Empress. And it could be in loss, lack, and sorrow, uh, losing a lot right now. And then they're thinking about somebody's protection. 
or you know, thinking maybe they're going to use that dungeon X could be the next thing on the on the uh, chopping block. But the sense of the four, which is the emperor. So we got an empress and an emperor in here. This is the empress, right? Yeah. So that's a couple actually. So hmm, okay, interesting. Uh, in the past, we had a. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, uh, Capricorn Energy, somebody who's down there is practical, uh, Josie Green Outdoors, and is, well, good listener about material matters. Uh, the moon, okay, something hidden, was hidden about this person, or they could have been dealing with uh, Cancer or Pisces, or they could, not getting nightmares or anything like that. You're getting something hidden about this person. Two of Pentacles, present moment, somebody's uh, trying to keep the balls in the air. Okay, well, that's a lot. Okay. Presently, keeping the balls in the air, there's a lot going on. There's uh, this drop hole, I'm, I'm taking it. There's party, there's um, somebody planning for the future. And somebody coming in with a little boss. And that it comes, or somebody who's uh, romantically driven, throwing up. But he's upright and a hermit, which could be this uh, King of Pentacles in the um, outcome with uh, business opportunity. And he's upright too, so. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. The future, we got two pages. We got a page of pentacles and a page of swords. Spying and uh, and um, learning. Spying and learning. Learning how to spy. Oh, two people. Oh, this went over these two. Okay. This is uh, ten of like a betrayal gone bad. So somebody trying to betray somebody, but they basically spun around and betrayed them. The reverse ten of uh, swords. At least that's what I'm getting off of it. And, oh my god, 10-10. Okay, so, somebody coming out of, uh, or a betrayal totally backfiring on them and blowing their face off. And, um, this is somebody, like, dropping all their burdens. Like, coming out of burdens and saying, fuck it, I've had nothing. Boom, dropping all their burdens right on somebody. So, 10-10, that's two completions. So, these two pages could, so, could be completing something. I don't see the death card. I'm gonna ask what what's this well, what's this doing on here? This isn't nine, this was here too. Nine of uh, wands. So this is like um, right before the ten breaking to uh, this is like uh, where you gain strength though. Like just enough to handle. It's like you know how you have to really push yourself to gain weight in uh, the gym? Well this is like that. The masculine strength. So adrenaline. Uh, Okay, why is heartbreak in the way uh, this person's influencing this? Why are they so... I'm, I'm thinking it's because of this drop that they got pushed out. Yeah. This is... Uh, they're waiting for something, it says here. So they're waiting for something. Uh, 33. That's 33. So they could be waiting level up. This is like master level. Uh, I don't like saying master or anything, but like that's what it means to some people. So 33 is uh, master level, right? And that's the how old Jesus was when he died, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, hopes and fears is judgment and temperance. I'm thinking your angels, you, you're um, fearing that your angels are warning you that there's a judgment coming you need to take up it. So let's, is there any truth to this, Holy Spirit? Okay, Queen of who is um, in the, the heart of the matter, which who could be the one. This is the person who's reading. I'm thinking this is about is, uh, their angels or their ancestors are warning them. They're fearing that, that, they're war that their, their judgment is coming. Uh, the lens they're looking through is that the tower, a tower's being blocked. Or they know this tower is coming down, it's only a matter of time. It's blocked, they're currently it's blocked, they're postponed. It's, uh, let's see, what do you want to talk about this Holy Spirit? This is uh, being held held back by a tricky, a tricky uh, 
tricky bastard or somebody who knows a thing or two. Upright though, but mm, uh, yeah, it's holding a tower back. Maybe thinking they can, you know, hurt less if if it comes down. Maybe they're waiting for something to happen before they let this tower. In the environment, we got a union with the two of us. Somebody could be in love with himself, too. I just thought of that. Somebody could be like, uh, we call it vanity, like just in love with himself. Like, okay, can't pass a mirror without looking into it or some shit like that. This is a king of uh, cups. This is, uh, I'm thinking that it's this queen of cups, but it's just there's nothing left to really say queen of cups because the queen of cups is already out, isn't it? Yeah, it is. In the uh, hopes and fears, so there could be two queens of cups. Because why would the queen of cups be fearing another queen of cups? And here's a king of cups. This could be a masculine uh, in the environment right now. A masculine uh, water sign that adds up to three again, you know, which is um, yeah, three, three, three. Hmm. Okay, in the environment, we've got uh, a twin flame or, or a couple of some kind. Could be marriage. Uh, another three. So that's three, three, three. Just with the. Uh, well. Okay. Um, and eight of cups. Somebody's walking away from what no longer serves them. I'm thinking it's this good cup. Let's pull on that first. So what about the. Who's walking away with the. Uh, with the Eight of Cups here, from what no longer serves the Holy Spirit. Strength. It could be a Leo, it could be, um, this person's got, got strength, so they, they know what's what, and they know, uh, they know that this judgment, their angels, uh, their spirit team has been warning them, and they're, they're like listening to their inner self, and they're, they're saying, get ready, this buffer's about to drop, and they're smart, and they're moving on from this, right? Maybe they, they had no choice, maybe they were pushed up. Um, Twin flame because of a twin flame union, uh, and yeah, that's what I'm getting from there. There's still three here though, with the three of cups celebrating in the outcome, and a elder of pentacles. This, this is an uh, uh, knowledgeable earth sign. This king's in knowledge, right? And we've also got one of these little fuckers here. Like, look at this guy. He looks like his eyes are so fucking. He just, does he even have eyes? No, he doesn't. He can't see shit. He's taking a piss there or something. But I don't know. These guys always just remind me. Make sure you know where your car keys are and then you, in your wallet and shit that you need. Maybe sometimes they like to, they like to get people to fucking walk, like look around. And they, 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 they think it's a game, right? I don't think they ever really see anything, but. <laughs> what do you want to tell us about? First of all, what do you want to tell us about this guy who's so high that he's got no eyes? Let's see. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. This is a faded bit. Whatever this is, it's a faded event. Uh, who's this uh, King of Pentacles? This business owner or Pentacle suave or person? Uh, somebody who is possibly working hard at their craft, uh, maybe perfecting uh, some kind of craft or a skill they have. Uh, four of Wands, community or free flame, what's this all about? Okay. So heartbreak. Okay, this is the heart. The reason for heartbreak. With the three of swords here. The spirit says that's the truth. So this is uh, yeah. And this three of cups celebrating the ending of something. What's this all about? Uh, five of wands. This is um, this conflict. They're celebrating a conflict. This is what these people are celebrating. Okay, so what's your what's your advice for this for this uh, person, whoever this is, who's in heartbreak, obviously. Uh, get ready because the tower's about to drop. That's what's been saying. Uh, anything else? Oh, this one came out. King of Swords could be bringing this uh, tower. Next king. Of, this is a fucking bad, wicked tower coming. Like, look at this chick is like jumping out of the fucking the tower, but she's not even looking where she's gonna land. For all she knows, she can land on one of those fences with the big pointy things, but she's just looking in horror at whatever the fuck is in that tower. So, 
Hey, what's your advice? Spirit, is there anything else? No. Just a page of swords. Just keep your eyes open and watch what's going to happen. Because uh, there's going to be, when this tower drops, there's going to be an opportunity that flies out like there always is. That's why I love towers. As a truth, so all, there will be a truth that will lead to an opportunity. Something that can lead to an opportunity. Uh, so, look for that there, water signs.